G'day scrappers. Well, time to go to the scrapyard and get a price check on everything that I can and uh, just to see uh, whether this epidemic has uh, affected scrap price as much. Um, I've got a few prices, so I do know that with non-ferrous stuff like um, aluminium, copper, wire, all that kind of stuff has gone down quite a bit. Um, we'll go and uh, check out just how much it has gone down. So for now, I've got a load of scrap steel that I'm taking in to my other yard where I take in this kind of stuff uh, because it's mostly, uh, it's good scrap steel, but it's a mixture of dirty scrap steel, printers and stuff. So this yard um, accepts dirty, dirty pressing, whereas the other yard only wants um, clean pressing. So I just go to another yard. So anyway, let's go to scrap yard unload this uh, really heavy load of scrap steel at the moment um, my my record is about 800 kilos I reckon we're going to get close to a ton here it's not as full as I'd normally want but I've got to get there because it's going to close uh, soon so I need to get there today empty out this van because I've got a job in the morning so let's go start off scrap metal price scrap steel and we'll see how we go Okay. Scrap metal. Okay, some heavy servers. Whew. And printers. Okay, now this big, big box server, that's got to go. I wonder if I can get a ton. I reckon I'm going to be close. It felt like a ton when I was bringing it here.
most of these PCs are full of rubbish, you know, screws, scrap steel, plug-ins, all kinds of stuff. Another printer. Took out the circuit board, some wire. Scrap metal everywhere. Monitor stands. It's all got to go. Even monitors. This is called dirty pressing. So they take monitors. Not too many. Just a good balance. Now the printer, the drum stands. Here's most of the weight. These are all full with junk as well. About a million plugs. <laughs> okay. Got to bring my broom. It's all my stuff. <laughs> Okay, they'll come and push it all up. Let's 
going way up. Okay, so um, I did that scrap steel and well, it didn't have as much as I was hoping, but it's still 820 kilos. So that seems to be about the maximum that I can carry to the scrapyard anyway. So 820 kilos. Um, the price hasn't changed as far as pressing steel. I'm still getting 12 cents a kilo. They did start, they put 10 cents a kilo and then they crossed it out and put 12 cents. So I'm not sure, maybe um, under half a ton is only 10 cents or maybe because I'm more of a regular, I got 12 cents, but they've obviously changed their mind there. So I still got the same price as normal, 12 cents a kilo, um, $98. So, all right, well, so that wasn't too bad, but uh, I had a feeling that scrap steel wasn't going to um, drop down much in price. Uh, the, the biggest thing it looks like that has dropped is uh, extruded aluminium. So, and pretty much a lot of things like that, uh, but uh, copper has dropped as well, but not as much as, uh, yeah, aluminium, that's for sure. And stainless steel has dropped. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this cable in. I've got two bins. Um, I need the bins desperately because I got a whole bunch more cables come in um, the other day. So... I've got more than I started with when I was starting to process the cables uh, last week. Um, but that's good in a way. So I'm going to take this in and we'll get a price. I know I've, I've lost a bit on this. Uh, if I took this in, say, a week and a half ago, um, yeah, I reckon I've lost about 20% at least. So I was getting $2.40 a kilo. So we'll just see how much. At the same time as taking these two tubs, I'm going to take in uh, a bunch of motors I've got scattered around the place, so I'll get a motor price as well. Um, I did want to take in some batteries. I've got a lot of UPS batteries, but uh, um, I think the price is a little bit too low. They, it dropped quite a bit on batteries as well as lead, so I think I'll just hold on to the batteries for a little while and hopefully they go back up but that's also a risk that you hold on to things hoping they go up and they go keep going down um, I'd love to hold on to this insulated wire for a lot longer but I just don't have the room I've got uh, uh, at least six uh, bins full now um, it's just come in, in left right and center um, here's a half a tub full of uh, there's a yeah at least a, a wheelie bin full there the cable yeah pretty much everywhere uh, I'm just processing a bin of cable uh, now and um, here's another bin of cable that needs to be done and another bin of cable it's uh, everywhere so yeah um, and also this stack has grown by another two wheelie bins full so it's it's a mountain i just can't keep up with it i really can't but um i don't want to pass it by because obviously this is what i rely on uh and there's also another tub here full of cable so uh four six seven eight there's about eight or nine wheelie bins worth of cable that i need to process and I only uh, done five of those servers. Still got another five here. Um, I uh, spoke to my buyer about them. They're a little bit too old for him. Uh, but I'll just hold on to them in case I can do something with them before I scrap them out. So, okay, let's get to the scrapyard. So, insulated cable and motors. Yeah, I'll put cable in there and a small one for motor. Uh, 
know, that's a big bin. Try to bring as much cable as I could so I don't fill up my bins too quickly. Tipe? Oh, it's not working. 100 kilo, I can't lift it. Another one, maybe? <laughs> maybe lift? Okay. All right.
bloody hell. Yeah, the forklift is not working. It's not turning around. Oh well. It's just too heavy to lift into the tub, so... Well, that'll do. At least we got one in. Wow, that's a lot of cord cutting, cord food. Motors, transformers. Remember these, I never got around to uh, taking off the uh, copper. I just don't have time. Should have sold them earlier. Would have got better money. Because at the moment, got a feeling everything's gonna be dropping down a lot in price. Usually alternators go for a little bit more. If you're just selling alternators on their own, you should get better price. Okay. Oh well. They just take up a lot of room, so it's just good to get rid of them. Normally I have more. So that's pretty uh, decent stack of uh, copper wire. I think there's, there's definitely, uh, should be 200 kilos all up. Well, there's one empty wheelie bin, so I'll have two. That's going to be awesome.
bloody harder work than just emptying it by hand. Okay. Whew. Wow. Once it's all spread out like that, you just realize how much there is. That's unbelievable. Wow. Well, at least it's coming back recycled. Even the insulation gets reused, re recycled. They give value out of that as well, but uh, geez, there's a lot of cords that I've cut, you know, a lot of plugs that I've removed. So, uh, you know, quite a few hours worth of work. So, oh well. This is our bread and butter. This is uh, what we rely on, mostly. The circuit boards are a bonus. It's all about sc scrap steel, scrap copper wire, and stuff like transformers, motors, lead acid batteries. All right, let's get this weight up. So because it's uh, non-contact at the moment, uh, we're not actually going to the counter. What they're going to do is just email the invoice to my email and, um, and just pay into the bank so I don't have to go over to the counter. A bit of uh, hand sanitizer, just to remind me <laughs> that uh, the world is a little bit different. But yeah, so I was wondering why he wanted my details right there and then. So uh, obviously they don't want any contact at the uh, counter. So fair enough, you know, you imagine how many scrap met, uh, scrappies go up to the counter and, you know, stick their head in the window and all that kind of thing. So uh, yeah, all right. Well, let's go back and uh, wait for all the email and see how much we actually got okay well i'm back and uh already started filling up uh one of the bins but uh so here's the go anyway um well pvc copper i ended up having 260 kilos so a little bit more than i expected but the price dollar fifty a kilo um last week it was a dollar 80 a kilo and uh the week before that it was two dollars 40 a kilo so it's it's gone down 90 cents a kilo in almost in you know under three weeks so that's crazy um 
So I think I mentioned at the start of the video that um, I was thinking about just keeping the uh, wire until uh, the prices go up. But the, um, the risk there is that if you uh, stockpile, it could also go the other way and go down. And that's what's happened now at $1.50 a kilo. Um, it's actually gone down. So if I thought last week's price was too low and I um, at a dollar eighty and I said I'll hold on to next week, I would have lost another thirty cents on a kilo on what I brought in last week. So and the same thing could happen next week. We don't know, but I doubt it because well, surely it can't go much lower than a dollar fifty a kilo. Um, so what I'm going to do, I think, is uh, get myself a couple of more bins from one of my buyers and uh, try and hold on to it at least for a few weeks before I take any more in um, and just see how the prices go because it really is getting low, $1.50 a kilo. And as I said, I rely on this stuff for cash flow. So, But the funny thing is, electric motors, I had 182 kilos of them, um, they're still at 50 cents a kilo. Um, so uh, I don't understand how that's happened. You know, why is, uh, you know, copper wire dropped down a lot, but motors containing copper have virtually stayed the same. So, yeah, you tell me. And also things like uh, brass has um, pretty much held its price. It's really good price. Uh, copper is still holding its price. Um, that's clean copper and clean brass. Um, but uh, yeah, copper wire has really taken a hit now. I uh, don't know what the story is. And uh, probably the biggest thing that's taken a hit is aluminium or aluminum, as some would say. But uh, this is my extruded aluminium, mostly heat sinks from PCs and stuff. Um, this has really taken a big hit, like something like 60, 70% or something crazy. Uh, so I'm definitely not going to be selling that. Uh, the only reason why I've been trying to sell some wire is because I'm getting quite large stockpiles of it and there's more coming all the time. So. Uh, I've got to kind of turn it over but yeah I think um, when I get to process this stuff I'll uh, yeah I'll <laughs> I'll start stockpiling um, yeah well there you go guys that was a scrap metal run um, but still copper is holding its price so uh, yeah you know uh, but it's always good to hold on to that as I keep saying well guys Keep scrapping, have fun, and I'll catch you soon.